In this video, we are going to discuss about all the enzymes, all the polymerases that are used for DNA replication in prokaryotes. Now, before we get to that point, let's build up on the basics. Let's recap about the enzymes which are involved in the replication process in bacteria. So, the key enzymes that are unwinding the DNA are helicase family enzymes. Now, gyrase ensures that supercoiling is taken supercoiling problem is taken care of now then primase enzymes synthesize small rna templates or rna primers on which the extension of extension takes place with the help of these dna polymerase enzymes now the single strand binding protein ensures that the strands which are opened up by the helicase they don't intertwine with each other it also ensures that dna polymerase 3 or dna polymerase can perform its job and perform the polymerization part now dna pol 3 synthesizes both the strands or extends both the strand from the end of the primer and the polymerization direction is 5 prime to 3 prime in one strand the polymerization takes place in a uniform and uninterrupted fashion but in the second strand the polymerization takes place in an interrupted and in a discontinuous fashion and the second strand is known as lagging strand when, while the continuous strand is known as leading strand now let us look at the type of dna polymerase as we have discussed we have already introduced dna polymerase 3 as a key replicating enzyme I mean, D DNA polymerase 2 and 1 are other enzymes which are not the major ones, but they are also very important. DNA pol 3 was not discovered before. DNA pol 1 was the first one to be discovered and discovered by Arthur Kornberg, but DNA pol 3 was later recognized as the major enzyme. DNA pol 3 has 5 prime to 3 prime polymerase activity and 3 prime to 5 prime exonuclease activity that mediates proof reading. DNA pol 1 has the similar activities like the DNA pol 3 but it also has a 5 prime to 3 prime forward exonuclease activity and this is very important for nick translation and DNA repair DNA pol 2 has very similar activity just like DNA pol 3 but DNA pol 3 is a major replicating polymerase DNA pol 2 and DNA pol 1 are actually used for repair and sometimes DNA pol other DNA polymerase can also give a backup when DNA pol 3 is not there. Now let's take a look at the active site of the DNA pol 3 to understand the process of this extension or the polymerization process. Now if you zoom into the active site of the DNA pol 3, we would understand that new bases or the new nucleotides or DNTPs are added. And this addition takes place by a Watson Creek base pairing rule, right? So here several round of addition of new nucleotides are taking place. And the extension is taking place in a 5 prime to 3 prime direction. But in case of lagging strand, there are multiple rounds by which the DNA polymerase has to synthesize the strand. And that's why this synthesis of the strand is discontinuous and interrupted. Now, we should ask that what is the mechanism of catalysis of this kind of DNA polymerase enzymes? And the key answer is it's a metal ion catalysis. So let's look at it. In the active site of the DNA polymerase 3, you can see there are several aspartate residues with which magnesium ions are linked by ionic interaction. Now, these magnesium ions are very important because magnesium ions actually neutralize the charge on the negative phosphate backbone now making it more viable for a nucleophilic attack from this uh, hydroxyl group of the new incoming um, incoming nucleotide and that is how the polymerization is taking place and the phosphodiester bond is actually created and also the nucleotide is interacting with the complementary strand nucleotide and in between them the hydrogen bond is forming and all is taking place in the active site now whenever there is a proper match these nucleotides are nicely placed in the active site of the enzyme and this 
reaction can take place. But in case of mismatch, let's say a faulty nucleotide or a nucleotide which should not pair with this particular nucleotide is there. In that situation, the 3D positioning of these nucleotide or this DNTP is not proper into the groove of this DNA polymerase. And that's create a steric repulsion. And in a three-dimensional structure, they are quite far away from each other to start a nucleophilic attack. And that is why in case of mismatch, the polymerization halts until it is repaired. So the exonuclease ac activity then kicks in and try to repair this kind of mismatch. Also, we should try to understand why only DNTPs are used by DNA polymerase, not the NTPs or the NTPs that are important for RNA synthesis, right? Now, deoxyribonucleotide can nicely fit into the active site, whereas RNTPs cannot fit nicely into the active site of this enzyme. As a result, it is always an error signal when an RNTP is entering the nucleotide binding groove. So DNA polymerase can distinguish between DNTPs and the RNTPs. Even though RNTPs are 10 times higher in concentration compared to DNTPs, only DNTPs are preferred by DNA polymerase, not the RNTPs. Now, whenever there is a mismatch, the wrong nucleotide creates a bump in the DNA and that is recognized by the polymerase and polymerase would move in a backward direction to get rid of it. Remember, the active site in which the polymerization reaction is taking place and the active site where the exonuclease activity is, is a complete different site. And the exonuclease site try to get the base out of it and allow new, new incoming nucleotide to be paired in a proper location. And that is how the exonuclease activity works. But about exonuclease activity, I have a totally different, different, uh, different video. So I would suggest you to watch that. But for that, it was just an overview of all type of DNA polymerase that are present in the prokaryotes and how they roughly work and how they are different from each other. So if, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Your positive comment gives me so much motivation that I can make many more videos. So please feel free to comment.